Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Uh, crap. Crap. Um, okay, you guys might be in orbit a little bit longer than anticipated. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what else I can do at this point. Uh, so I'm just going to fast forward and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, as you can see, the... Once I got a certain distance away from the moon, uh, the whole physics system changed, and now I'm actually on this very wide Earth... Kerbin orbit, Kerbin orbit. Uh, so what I've got to do is... I suppose now is the time to do it. Uh, do a do a retro burn and then bring the Apoepis back in, and that should be a proper orbit around around Earth. It's a little little funky. Uh, I don't know if this system is accurate. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like I could be going this way one moment and then suddenly be going right. Uh, so who knows? Uh, but yeah, let me uh, for no other reason than to look pretty. Get back into the spacecraft view and. Around. Very nice. All right, and right there. Woohoo, there. All right, now let us up the engines. Maybe not that much. Eh. Okay, very nice. I want this number to get down, I don't know, maybe 300,000. Because I do want to get back into kind of an orbit and then re enter. I don't want to come in too steep. I do want to remember that the X key isn't working as well as I'd hoped. Slow down. Very nice. Even more. What'd I say about 300? 250 to 300 is where I'm aiming. Ah, again, the X, my X key is broken, <laughs> but that's that's okay. Two thirty-seven. Uh, I aimed wide, so that hopefully is fine. So yeah, um, gosh, I've been playing for like an hour now. Uh, I might need to take a quick break. Personally, uh, maybe I should just leave my Kermans be, uh, and then we'll we'll rejoin when. Uh, when we get closer to Earth here. So yeah, let me actually fast forward a little bit just to make sure that this worked. I'm at the very slow part of the orbit here. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. What the heck just happened? What? What? See, okay. I'm confused, to say the least. Um, now I'm back on a lunar trajectory. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. I think what happened is I was going so slow, the moon caught up with me. Uh, what? <laughs> you know, the moon caught up with me, and now I'm like stuck in a Lagrange point. I'm kind of stuck between <laughs> Kerbin and the moon. Uh, this isn't good. Uh, let me actually, I'm going to have to, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to have to cycle my uh, uh, my recording, my audio recording software, because I don't know how much, how good it's going to do with an hour-long recording. I don't want it to crash. Uh, so, yeah, hold on a second. I'm going to figure this out. Uh, this is dangerous times here for the Kerbals. 
All right, what I'm actually doing is I'm doing nothing. I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm just going to assume, uh, now that I've passed the periapesis, that uh, once the moon gets a certain altitude away, that I'll switch back to my, my Earth trajectory, my Kerbin trajectory. I'm just hoping that's how the software works. Uh, so yeah, the moon is going away. Maybe it's like uh, once you get two million away, it like switches over. Oh, I hope this works. <laughs> No. Okay. A little bit concerned at this point. Uh, yeah, okay. Whew. I'm glad I didn't do anything there. <laughs> so yeah, we're back on our normal trajectory towards back to planet Kerbin. Uh, whew. That was, that was tense. <laughs> tense moments. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll bring you guys back in. Uh, I get closer, and then uh, once again re-enter. Uh, I, I suppose the next difficult thing is going to be uh, bringing myself into an orbit. Let's see where's whoop, where's our home nation here. It's right about there. Oh, uh, oh! It seems like the moon slowed us down enough. Uh, let me get back into one-time mode. As you can see, I'm going to intersect the planet, and I do not want to do that. Uh, that would be a hard landing. So let me turn off the SAS. Where is... No, I wanted the other one, actually. I just want to get a little bit of thrust to hopefully separate myself from a crash course with the planet. Easy, easy. Hold right there. Throttle up just a little bit. And say about, I'll stick with 100 or so. Okay, that time X worked. Maybe I was hitting the wrong button. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, now, now we're safe. We're in a safe kind of orbital trajectory around Kerbin. So I'll bring you back in once again when I start to uh, uh, start to bring these guys home. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, we are much closer to our planet, planet Kerbin, and I think I'm about, yep, at the uh, periapesis. Uh, so I'm going to get ready to bring myself in a more circular orbit, and then I think uh, this, if the timing is correct, I can uh, drop myself in the ocean just off the coast of our launch pad. If I could just get this freaking spacecraft under control. And hold it right there. Uh, I did go through the first fuel, RCS fuel. It might be because of my wacky configuration that causes me to spin, but uh, yeah, let's burn right now. Uh, and as you can see, there is our home uh, launch pad. So I think I'm gonna uh, bring this down and then I could probably, if I like I did before, I aim about here. It actually brings me in closer. Uh, so it's looking like this is a successful mission, our first orbital mission to the moon. Very nice. If it sounds like my voice is a little bit tired, it's because I am a little bit tired. I don't think I've ever done a recording session this long. Uh, unless you count that first race for the wool with Brian and Gleason and Schism where we were against each other. It was like an hour and a half. But, uh, but this is working. Very nice. Uh, I'm not sure how many episodes this is going to be, but hopefully it's been enjoyable for everybody involved. Let me bring this down to about 103 again to make it circular. And then I'm going to aim for a pinpoint splashdown. It 
Taking it nice and easy. All right, now I gotta watch this side. Oh, actually this might turn out just dandy. That's the only burn I might need. Yeah, I'll wait till it hits about 10. Okay, excellent. All right, I think that's gonna bring me in right on target. Uh, actually, no, I don't think that's going to bring me on right on target. Let me... Oh, wrong one. Let me raise this up a little bit. Uh, that's not working. I was using the RCS, but that's probably a bad idea at this point. Whoa. Uh, let me flip around. Oh, my SAS is on. Dang it. It's fighting with me. <laughs> Bill and Bob, whenever anything happens at all, you guys freak out. There we go, and then I'm gonna wait a little bit to do that burn again, because uh, I wanna really come down about here, and that should shrink up. I just, I was afraid that I was getting too close, and then this was a steep angle, uh, or actually a shallow angle, and it would've actually brought me into this ocean. So I'm trying to be precise, trying to get to that, so bleh, that ocean, so I'll bring you back in when that happens. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, this very poignant picture, the moon is rising where we just came from. Uh, this is our home uh, continent where we launch from. And I'm getting ready to disconnect our stage. Uh, we had a little bit of fuel left. Um, maybe I could have gotten away with two fuel cells. I think I wasted a little bit of fuel by doing just a few orbital maneuvers that weren't necessary, but, uh, uh, but yeah, as you can see, our orbit is going to uh, hopefully bring us down in this ocean. Uh, so there's not much more else I can do with this this stage. So what I'm gonna do is disconnect in three, two, one, ka-chunk. So long. I'm going to position myself. Uh, uh. Let me spin around here. Very nice, very nice. Uh, uh. There we go. That's a pretty proper re-entry uh, angle. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Oh, what happened to that stage? There it goes. Uh, it will come down somewhere around somebody's house right there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting a little loopy. Uh, yeah, we're getting down in the kilometers here, down to 60 almost. There is our launch pad. It's pretty awesome. And we're getting ready to come back as heroes to our planet and our nation. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Only our second, no, this was our third try. Yeah, our first rocket blew up on the launch pad. Uh, our second one had a failure in the second stage disconnection and then we had to abort, uh, but we did land safely. Uh, but this one, however, we made it to the moon. We were a little bit confused by the mechanics of the orbit of the moon. Uh, but uh, I think we figured it out, uh, so we will return one day, uh, perhaps with a user-made add-on that gives us some sort of lander capability. Uh, I'm not sure how keen I'm going to be on trying to do the whole landing with the stock parts that's in currently in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I know it's possible, you've all told me, you've all showed me the videos, I've seen them, but uh, I think I'd rather try to do it a little bit more... Uh, not so much legitimately, but just uh, realistically. You're not going to actually try to go to the moon and land on your tail fins or anything like that. But uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, what happened to the... Did I pass it up already? Oh, nuts. 
I was looking for the launch pad. Oh, there it is. I went straight overhead. Wow, talk about precision. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Uh, we're starting to come into the atmosphere, so that means we should be slowing down, and then our arc should be shrinking. Yep, certainly is. Uh, I might have shot a little bit long here, but uh, it'll work. This will be a short boat ride back to home. I'm not sure if that's something that's going to come into play uh, with the the full version of the game, you know, like you have to have some sort of recovery vehicle or recovery, uh, which means you can't can't land in the the mountaintops or stuff like that, or else you're going to be wasting a bunch of your your funds, your limited points, or however it's going to work. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, let me get this on down, and then I'll bring you back in for uh, uh, I suppose I suppose when we land, because uh, you've all seen this this part before <laughs> many many times. So yeah, I'll I'll bring you back in for splashdown, and then we'll take a look at our statistics. Um, I, I can see that my recording software is starting a little bit jittery. I'm recording for an hour and a half. <laughs> Hopefully I have hard drive space. Yeah, I do. Plenty of hard drive space. Uh, but yeah, I will bring you back in for splashdown. Got Bill, Bob, settle down. Jebediah, keep, keep them in line. <sighs> Honestly. <laughs> Call yourself astronauts. All right, I'm back, and if there was ever a poetic final image of this mission, it would be this, coming down under the power of our parachute with the moon on the horizon, or in the sky, and splashdown. I just totally messed up whatever poetic thing I was going to say. Uh, but yeah, splashdown, we're safe. Uh, we're slowly sinking, but we're safe. Uh, yeah, we landed a little bit, little bit further than I wanted to, but... Uh, uh, in the proper ocean, so that's good. So yeah, let's see what the mission time was. 21-21. Oh, I should have stopped at four seconds ago. <laughs> it would have been 21-21-21. Uh, oh well. Uh, let me end the flight, and we can take a look at our flight results. Very little happening. All the stages separated fine. Uh, nothing even broke during the separation. Uh, most G-forces, 4.6. That was a good re-entry. Uh, just under a day. Of course, I don't know what the the day, the Kerbin day is, but uh, we made it to the moon. High speed, everything else is pretty awesome. Uh, 73 million meters of ground distance covered. Uh, so yeah, amazing, we made it to the moon! Huzzah, hooray, etc., and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, once again, thanks for, for watching these these episodes of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I may be returning uh, to check out some of the mods you all have conf confirmed. I just looked at the word confirmed and said it out loud. Uh, the mods you guys have recommended, where I can add additional parts and uh, things to the game uh, before they're even added to the to the vanilla game, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Um, let me head back to the vehicle assembly building. Congratulations, Bill, Jebediah, and Bob. Uh, we can take a look once again to remind ourselves the awesome power of the Farlander 9. Uh, an amazing little spacecraft. Well done. <laughs> I look forward to making even more crazier, crazy contraptions in the future, but, uh, uh, but yeah. Thanks once again for watching. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time.